Hey everyone, today's Grim Misadventure revealed something pretty big. So over the weekend, this image was shown on the forums, and people were pretty much like, oh, the new class is coming Monday. And when I was streaming this weekend, of course, we speculated greatly on what it would be, but it became pretty obvious what it was going to be. So the, the announcement should come as no surprise that it's the Necromancer. Necromancer is going to be the 8th Mastery. It, uh, it uses, you know, Vitality, Aether Damage, probably some Cold Damage and Poison Damage worked in there, too. And, uh, it sounds really cool, too. Part of me really wanted, well, I wouldn't say really, part of me kind of wanted, like, a, a second, the second Mastery to be something completely off the wall. But I'm fine with the Necromancer, honestly. Necromancer's awesome, and... I think Crate's going to do it well, do the archetype well, and I'm glad they're bringing such an archetypal action RPG class to Grim Dawn. So um, in this announcement, we, we have the image here, which I actually have as my desktop wallpaper, because um, it's that awesome. And then uh, this paragraph explains the backstory behind the Necromancer, basically about how Arcavia outlawed the practice, tortured and killed Necromancers until they came to Oro Baruch, who uh, was immortal and then cursed them with immortality so that, you know, they were ghosts and skeletons forever in, Ar in old Arcavia, basically caused the fall of Arcavia. This little section is about how he started the Order of Death's Vigil, and we get the Order of Death's Vigil guys here. So, yeah, this, uh, this section's about, you know, why you're welcomed as a player character necromancer. So yeah, it says right here, um, their greatest strength lies in their use of Aether and Vitality Magic, though they do not bleh, shy away from Cold and Poison as well. So they're going to be primarily Vitality Aether with some Cold and Poison worked in there. So the first ability they show is Drain Essence. Necromancers firmly believe in the concept of greater good, but sometimes the greater good means that one's life essence must be sacrificed so that another may live. Though the transfer of Though the transfer is frowned upon, some practitioners have trouble resisting the temptation of raw, vital energy. So this, um, that's our Albrex Aether Ray pose. So this might be a channel ability where you uh, sap some energy from targets. Obviously, it's going to deal vitality damage because of that bright red. And you get some Aether in there. So um, maybe an Aether Vitality thing would be a good, like, you beam down a room with Albrex Aether Ray, turn around and drain essence everything. Freeze the room with Electras. Drain Essence. Pretty cool. So, Ray Skeletons, of course, is coming to this class. There are going to be 2.5 summons for this character. Now, um, in reading this, it says, The art of reanimating skeletal remains is among the first rites of aspiring necromancers, but also one of the most rudimentary. Through sheer will, a necromancer may call upon the spirits beyond the veil and draw them into the bones of the deceased. Should the ritual succeed, skeletal minions loyal only to the summoner shall rise. However, due to the unstable nature of the spell, such minions will not remain standing for long. So this is this sounds like a command version of the skeletons in the Revenant tree. Um, you raise three skeletons to serve you. More powerful minions have a chance to emerge at higher ranks, bring forth a, a combination of warriors, archers, mages, and revenants. Further mastery modifiers increases the number of summon limit, as well as the longevity and durability of your undead servants. When fully trained, any foes you slay have a chance to reset the cooldown. So this ability is summon up three. They have a chance to bring up higher minions. And then um, you'll be able to get more minions as time goes on. And there's that cooldown aspect. So these are probably going to be based off of pet bonuses. I would assume they scale with pet bonuses. But we don't know that exactly yet. They could maybe be a hybridized thing. But if they scale with pet bonuses, this would be pet number one. They mentioned there's going to be a second pet in there, and it's probably going to be something along the lines of a Briarthorn or Hellhound. And then the 0.5 pet could be something like a familiar, or it could be something like, you know, a totem slash wind devil slash turret thing where it looks like a pet, kind of behaves a little bit like a pet, but scales off of player bonuses. We don't know yet. And the, the final ability they mentioned is probably the equivalent of a Skander's Elemental Exchange or Flame Touched for the Necromancer, Necrotic Edge. By striking with the chill of the grave, your attacks inflict instant necrosis upon the afflicted wound, the sight of which can cause even the most resolute foes to falter. Sounds like you're adding a bit of confusion or impaired aim or fumble with this. Um, sounds like it's either a basic attack or a um, buff, like I mentioned before. So um, the and more section, 
shatter the souls of your enemies to conjure violent wraiths. That's basically the proc off of Necromancer Zath Grips. Bolster your minions with necrotic powers. Hence why I think necrotic edges like Ascondras. Fill the battlefield with disease and rot. It's a poison thing. Probably going to get some sort of poison AoE. Necromancer offers cruel new ways to dispose of your pathetic enemies. So class combinations, we have the Apostate, the Cabalist, the Death Knight, the Defiler, the Reaper, the Ritualist, and the Spellbinder. So we know the Ritualist is going to be the Inquisitor combination. I would assume Spellbinder is the um, Arcanist combo. It's kind of interesting how the Nightblade Arcanist is Spellbreaker, and I think the Arcanist Necromancer is the Spellbinder. Um, the Reaper is going to be a guy dressed in all black, dual-wielding shotguns. Um, or maybe it combines with the Nightblade, but hey, you could probably do that anyways. The Defiler, I think, is going to be the Shaman, because you're defiling nature at that point. Death Knight is obviously going to be the Soldier. Kabbalist is, or Kabbalist, is the Occultist combo, I think. And the Apostate is going to combine with the Demolitionist. So, that is the other new mastery for Grim Dawn, the Necromancer. I really like it so far. I mean, we've only seen two pictures of it, and we've only gotten, you know, three abilities. But if it's Crate, if it's Grim Dawn, you can bet that they're going to do the Necromancer right. So the Inquisitor and the Necromancer are two new things. The Inquisitor is kind of the Kaiman's class, because, I mean, Kaiman was an Inquisitor. Necromancer is obviously the Order class, at least leaning that direction for both. Although you're not restricted to faction, of course, with either one. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to see this coming. And it's going to be an interesting stream today with uh, with the conversation this will start. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the class in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time.